Hello! I'm going to read you a book called Some Pets, words by Angela Ditterlitzi, pets by Brendan Wenzel. I love the big eyes on all of the different animals. They're like googly eyes. Oh look, a pet show. That looks fun. A lot of detail. Look at all the things to look at. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Oh wow, look at all the different animals. Some pets sit. <laughs> Some pets stay. He's brushing his teeth. Some pets fetch. And some pets play. Oh, well, the cats are playing with the mice. Some pets slither. Some pets bound. So the bunny is jumping. Some pets scurry round and round. <laughs> oh, he's gently picking up the little hamster. Some pets squeal, some pets squawk, some pets squeak. They're all cheering them on. They're in a race. Look at the squirrel looking down. And some pets talk. Some pets pet, peck. Some pets nibble. Oh, look how scared he is. Some pets drool on their kibble. So for their food, look how they're in costumes. Look at the little bumblebee. And he, look what he is. He's a dragon. And what is that dog? A doctor. And what is the little pug dressed up as? Can you tell? Like a lobster. Some pets squeeze. Some pets nuzzle. Some pets lick. Some pets cuddle. Oh, that's a hedgehog. Whether fluffy, feathered, crawly, cute, silly, strange, scaly, brute, big or small, or a blend, some pets can be. Oops. Someone's best friend. Oh. I'm going to go back to this page because there was just so much to look at. Look at the fish tank. Oh, look at the, looks like a cat inside of the cage. An iguana. Look, some of the pets are very little, like the guinea pig. And then some are much bigger, like the horse. Oh boy, look at the snake is slithering into the water. Look at the little turtle. There are all different kinds of pets. So I would like for you to make a piece of artwork about a pet. It could be a pet that you have. Maybe you have a dog or a hamster or a cat, or it could be a pet that you would love to have. Maybe you would love to have a pet horse, and you can even imagine having a pet that you really wouldn't be able to have, like a pet dinosaur or a unicorn or a dragon. I'm gonna open the page back up to this page where all the animals are sort of in a row and I'm going to use it to look at because I'm going to draw my pet picture and I'm actually going to look at the little hedgehog and when I draw my pets I always start with the eyes and this book is great with the big googly eyes so I'm going to start with that so on mine I'm going to draw a great big circle and I'm going to draw a little circle on the inside and color it in now I'm using a sharpie because I want you to be able to see it really well, but I think you should start with pencil. That's what I normally start with, so if I make a mistake, I can erase it. Now look at the nose. It just goes, I start right above the eye, little spot right there, and I scoop down and I go up, like a little valley. And then I make a little curve point here where the nose is. I'm gonna color that in. And I'm gonna come all the way down, almost like I'm doing a big smile and go all the way up and connect it. Can you see the body now? And I'm gonna make a little smile. And then I'm gonna make the spikes. And that's just a jaggedy line. And I'm gonna make a little little feet back here. 
Do do do. And more spikes all around the eye. And it looks like he's got a little eyebrow or she's got a little eyebrow. And I'm going to make lots of little spikes in here too. And those are just like little upside down letter V's. Now you don't have to do a hedgehog. You get to do whichever pet you want to do. And you could do more than one pet. Now for my hedgehog, I'm going to put a little line back here because I want my hedgehog to have a little leash. So mine's going to have a little leash going off the page. And I'm going to put things that my hedgehog uh, might need or want as my little pet. So I'm going to put my hedgehog in a little soft bed and I might make a zigzag pattern on it so that it looks like my little spikes on my hedgehog. And I think I'm going to put a little water bowl in a food bowl. And when I do that, I make another smile and then I go out, out. And then I connect those two lines with also another little smiley line. And then I make a little hill on top. Boop. And then on the inside, this is what I can fill with water or food. So I'm going to do it again. Smile, out, out, connect them with a smile and a little hill. Boop. So this one, I'm going to put water in there and I'll color that blue later on. And this one, I'm going to put little hedgehog food. What does a hedgehog eat? I don't even know. Oh, I need to go to the store and get a book and read all about it before I get my hedgehog pet. Now, of course, if you had a dinosaur or a dragon pet in your picture, that'd be really cool. You'd have to figure out what to do there. And you could even write their name on the food bowl. So maybe he'll be Spike because he's got his little spikes there. And then you could put other stuff in the picture. Maybe I'm going to put little pictures on the wall. Maybe this is inside my little Spike the Hedgehog's little hedgehog house instead of a dog house. And I'm going to put little pretty pictures. Maybe he likes things like plants to look at and, and flowers like that. Maybe I'll put other things on the wall or a window. Maybe I'll put the, the wall back there. Maybe I'll put another pet curled up or maybe it's a mommy hedgehog, mommy spike or daddy spike and there's little baby ones. Fill your picture with lots and lots of detail and then you can color very, very carefully. Good luck.